Never said I'm perfect, so be easy. Said it would be worth it, not be easy. Shorty go too hard, told her take it easy. Hey you guys, thank you so much for returning for another video, but if you are new here, hi, my name is Kendra, I am a zero-based cash budgeter, I budget on a monthly and a weekly basis, I budget every single week because I get paid every single week. I also love to do savings challenges, DIYs, and unboxings, so if that sounds like something that you may be interested in, please consider becoming a subscriber, I would love to have you here, hit that bell notification button to be notified every time I post a video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and leave a comment below. I would love to communicate with you. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, you guys, so it is budgeting time. We are budgeting my fourth and final paycheck for the month of December for the year of 2023. Just the final paycheck overall, so let's go ahead and turn to our paycheck budget page and let's just go ahead and get started so i literally just looked up how much i got paid and then i forgot all right so i did not get paid yet but i do know how much i'm getting paid which is 956 dollars so let's put it on the actual side because this is exactly what I'm getting paid. So $956, which is my work income. And then, y'all, I am hot. I put this sweater on thinking I was going to be freezing cold up here, but I am burning up. I think I'm going to take it off because I'm sweating. I'm one of them people, like, if I'm... I put a sweater on and I'm burning up, but if I take it off, I'm freezing cold. But right now, I'm hot and I do feel a little bit cold now that I took it off, but I'll be okay. I'll make it. All right, so we have $956 um, for my fixed expenses, which is my bills. We have mortgage. I have my phone bill, I have car insurance, I have utilities, and I have the internet. So for my mortgage, I am budgeting $155, for my phone is $20, car insurance is $23, Utilities is $63 and internet is $15. So let's go ahead and pull out my calculator. Let's go ahead and total these numbers up. 155 plus 20 plus 23 plus 63 plus 15 equals 276. So 956 minus 76 gives me 680 all right so now for my variable expenses I have gym Netflix Canva which are all fully stuffed right now so they are getting zero then I have takeout groceries um gas shopping and miscellaneous sorry my handwriting is sloppy because i'm moving a little too fast but for takeout takeout's getting 55 as usual groceries i fully stuffed groceries i like the second week of stuffing so that is getting zero so far i've been making it through i think i'm like this close to running out of money but the holidays have been helping me out because i went over to my mom and dad's like twice already and um the only person i've been buying takeout for is my daughter so i've been trying not to be tempted i think i did get takeout one time for myself but yeah so groceries been i've been making it stretch 
gas i'm going to budget 50 i think i'm either at the halfway point or a little bit under so i'm going to budget 50 just in case between now and next week i might have to use it uh, shopping is going to get 50 as usual and miscellaneous is going to get 15 as usual so let's go ahead add it up so we have 55 plus 50 plus 50 plus 15 equals 170 680 subtract 170 gives me 510 all right so for debt and savings so we are doing what are we doing my high yield And we're doing sinking funds. And I think that's it. I don't need to put anything towards debt right now. So I think we're good on that. So high yield would be getting... I'm just going to do... Hmm... Yeah, I'm going to do 100 for high yield this week. And sinking funds will be getting the rest, which is 410. 100 plus 410 equals 510. 510 minus 510 gives me my zero base budget, so zero remaining. And that is it for my budget. So i like to go ahead and add these three numbers up to make sure it totals up to 956 so i know that i'm on the right track so we have 276 plus 170 plus 510 gives me 956 which is correct so that is my budget for my fourth paycheck of december so that is it I'll go ahead and do my paycheck denominations um, for sinking funds. I don't break it down during my budget. I do it when I do my denominations. So I go through my binders, figure out which envelopes I want to stuff. I write it down on this side and then um, I total the denominations up and I've done it my last, my third paycheck of December I showed you guys how I do it so if you want to see how I do that go ahead and refer back to I think it was me stuffing my sinking funds I'm not sure but yeah I show you guys how I go about um splitting up the the amount that I budget for sinking funds so sinking funds 410 I come on this side I write down sinking funds 410 I list all the envelopes that I want to stuff the amounts that I want to stuff in each envelope that adds up to 410 and then I figure out the denominations that I want to put in each envelope so that is how I do it and it makes it easy breezy easy peasy for me so I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up leave a comment below and please consider becoming a subscriber I would love to have you here oh yeah I have this pink mat because I did do an unboxing. I haven't posted it yet, but I have a desktop to the left of me and I brought this um, mat for the mouse to use the mouse on and I love this color. So it's only like about this, it only takes up this much space. So I want to buy another one so I can spread it across my whole desk. But I like this to add a little pop of color to my videos. So I'm going to keep this here. And then I'm going to add another one to actually use for the mouse and the keyboard and stuff. But I love this color pink. So I hope you all love the color too. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.